this case here is for the, the uh, caster. Uh, get it back on here we rock and roll. It's been a long battle with this casing casters, but I think this will be a victory for us. Why do you think it's giving you trouble? Uh, I don't know. I, we got along great when we first met back in 05. We're seeing you tour, but it's just, I don't know. It's, I don't think I did anything. What have you been doing? Well, I had taken a sabbatical, if you will, um, from the video blog for quite a while. Um, one half of that sabbatical was voluntary, the other half involuntary. Um, I was uh, subsequently fired, then rehired, then uh, fired again, uh, brought on part-time, and, uh, and uh, reinstated full-time. Uh, then after that, uh, Jeremy had made a decision uh, to uh, formally retire me and my jersey. Uh, and then uh, after a uh, long, hard search for a replacement, uh, decided that it was uh, much, much cheaper uh, just to, to keep me on as a, um, a lay player, if you will, um, instead of being uh, full-time. So, that all happened with. Well, quit lying again. That guy just keeps lying. Well, seriously, you need to quit lying all the time. <laughs> Dear Diary, I caught Walt in a lie again today. Seems to be a pattern of his. Don't really know what to do. Maybe I should teach him a lesson and actually fire him this time. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I should show him some grace. But I guess time will tell. Anyway, had a great time. We've been in New York. It's been an unbelievable time. People have been sweet. we have been on amazing nights of worship. Actually, I think I love the Northeast a lot. Thanks for a wonderful time, Jeremy. How's it with Jeremy Camp? How's it with Jeremy Camp? That guy's primo, man. He knows what he's doing. This is not his first rodeo. He's a good guy. It's a little intimidating, man, because, uh, He's so big, man. You know, uh, I, I did 100 push-ups today just so that you know I can hang. We love touring with Jeremy Camp. We'd love to have him come and headline our tour any day. So Jeremy, just come on, man. Now, I was wearing a black T-shirt. He sometimes wears a black T-shirt, so I wanted to make sure we weren't wearing the same exact thing because I did those 100 push-ups. I don't want people to confuse us. Because <laughs> um, you know, it can happen. I love those guys. Yeah, I think the cool thing is you know whenever we do something with uh, different artists. And that you don't know, I knew them, but uh, there's always that like, okay, is there gonna be a rub at all? You know, he plays the same spirit, same heart there. And dude, that was like from start to finish, you know, the same desire, the same heart. So it was powerful. It was a powerful night. This whole weekend was like, ah. so New York, thank you. Um, you were amazing. Rome and Hamburg. And uh, you got some good pizza too. So that's the nerd law. But thank you guys so much. And we'll see you again soon. I love the Northeast. I always say that, but I'm going to keep saying it. So I'll be back. Well, um, evidently on this bus, exaggerated stories and jokes become fibs or lies. So it looks like um, after the apparent investigation by internal affairs, I might get fired now because I told a joke on camera. Well, we'll see about that. Let's see. Sometimes I just have to dance. Times I just, you know, hang out. Play some guitar, you know. 